हेलो माय डियर फार्मा फ्रेंड्स एंड माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज सचिन जाधव फाउंडर फंडामेंटल फार्मेसी ऑथर ऑफ फंडामेंटल ऑफ जीपैट नाइपर डीआई फार्मासिस्ट वॉल्यूम 1 जीपैट क्रैकर अचीवर एमसीक्यू बुक एंड फोर फाइव मोर बुक्स वेलकम्स यू इन दिस यूट्यूब वीडियो सेशन इन टूडेज वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टू प्रिपेयर फॉर जीपैट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी पार्ट थ्री वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड टू वीडियोज ऑन जीपैट प्रिपरेशन so if anybody has not seen that video the link of those video will be available in the description box please go and watch those videos also and again it's my request please watch this video until end so that all your doubts regarding gpat preparation will be clear and if you are new on our channel please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so friends let's start and in this video we'll see what are the different important subject what are the important important topics from each subject and what are the important points from particular topic also so this video is going to be very useful knowledge oriented for you so again it's my request please watch this video until end so let's start first of all if you are not gpat qualified nobody is going to ask you and it is a fact again gpat qualification means what gpat qualification means literally it is a certificate of knowledge that means if you have gpat score card that means you have some sort of pharma knowledge otherwise lot of student they used to take admission for b pharmacy and lot of student used to pass every year though they will have very good marks in the semesters they will have very good marks in the university exam but if you if they don't have any gpat score card they will not have much value in the market so gpat score card means value gpat score card means respect gpat score card means a certificate of knowledge okay so try to prepare for gpat and try to qualify it and try to get very good rank so that your future will be bright okay so let's start the session so see first of all your gpat paper has a five sections as i have told you in the previous videos also so first section will be your chemistry second section will be your sotics third section will be your third section will be your pharmacology fourth section will be your pharmacognosy and and fifth section will be other subjects so now in each sections there are different subjects involved like in the pharmaceutical chemistry you are organic, organic chemistry medicinal chemistry pharmaceutical analysis inorganic chemistry etc etc then in the pharmaceutics part you have pharmaceutical engineering physical pharmacy dispensing pharmacy industrial pharmacy biopharmaceutics in the pharmacology you have anatomy physiology biochemistry microbiology pharmacology 1 and pharmacology 2 in the cognosy section you have pharmacognosy 1 and 2 in the other subject section you have pharmaceutical jurisprudence biotechnology quality assurance pharmacy practice and research methodology so we'll see what are the important topics from section 1 that is the sotics so first section of your gpat paper is a uh, pharmaceutics now this pharmaceutics is made up of a different different subjects first major subject from pharmaceutics part is industrial pharmacy now what is important from industrial pharmacy what are the important chapters from so so that you can cover sotics in a very short period but you have to read at least these chapters these chapters are very important for pharmaceutics part so first pre formulation is very very important each and everything from pre formulation is very important like your uh, polymorphism is important solubility analysis and all pre formulation that is important I'm going to tell you each and every detail from the topic also because it will take a very long time and the video will be very long then again tablet is important capsule is important suspension suspension emulsion suppository aerosols parenteral products novel drug delivery system and cosmetics these are the chapters which are very very important from the industrial pharmacy as per as your gpat naipur drug inspector and all other exams are concerned so they are going to ask you question from these chapters there is a pre formulation which is a very 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 important chapter again tablet is a huge chapter and it is a very very important so particularly the tablet diluents cut type of tablet diluents they are important types of tablet are important granulation technique is important quality control test for tablets that is important same is true with the capsule in addition to that here you need to uh, take care about the type of gelatin type a type b gelatin and all that okay isolectric ph bloom strength and all that 
so most of the time they used to ask question on these points only so what is the bloom strength of uh, soft gel tin capsule what is the uh, what is the ph isolated ph of type a type b so likewise that that is important again pump suspension emulsion so suspending agent emulsifying agent their classification that is important then uh, the stability of suspension and emulsion these points are also important already they have asked question on this classification or identification of emulsion that is important okay dlbo theory from suspension that is important then suppository is important chapter so uh, uh, the characteristic of ideal base then uh, regarding the coca butter you should know different types of polymorphism in case of aerosol classification of your propellants uh, parts of aerosol container then uh, billing methods cold fill method and uh, uh, gravity method and all that uh, on this aerosol chapter quality control of aerosol that is what is flash point and all that flame position test flash point test all these points they have already asked lot of times so this aerosol suppository is important then again parental products or sterile products it is very much lengthy topic and it is very important topic for industrial pharmacy so they can ask the specification of water bottle injection sterile water bottle injection bad types of water okay types of water then uh, formulation ingredient of parental product so what is large volume parental what is small volume parental what are the additives used in that okay sterility okay quality control test for parental that like sterility test leakage test and all that so that is also important okay so from parental product now from novel drug delivery system so it is again very important chapter for gpad and other exams so they can ask anything from novel drug delivery system like uh, liposomes then uh, control release drug release okay sustained lipidosis form transplant transdermal implants etc etc gastro retin to drug delivery system and all that then from cosmetic types of different cosmetic like a uh, uh, different creams like cold cream and vanishing cream cold cream vanishing cream etc etc so then again from lipstick eye mascara eye, lipstick the formulation ingredient of cold cream formulation ingredient of vanishing cream formulation ingredient of foundation cream then formulation ingredient of your uh, your toothpaste face powder okay so for example uh, uh, titanium dioxide titanium dioxide that will replace the uv rays that i all that uh, that has been asked lot of times then different types of dyes used in the lipstick that also has been asked okay then uh, in case of uh, vanishing cream so uh, what is the base that has been already asked these are the point you put on from your industrial pharmacy i'm not going to detail in in the each and every chapter because it will take very long time now another uh, uh, another subject from this subject section is a pharmaceutical engineering and it is also known as unit operations so every year they used to ask at least for industrial pharmacy so you should read this industrial pharmacy from this book industrial pharmacy by leon lakman that is a enough that book is enough and most of the questions they used to ask from this book only now we'll see another subject from this section that is nothing but the pharmaceutical engineering it is also known as the unit operations and uh, these are the chapters which are very important okay you can expect around uh, uh, four or five questions from pharmaceutical engineering and uh, from industrial pharmacy almost around 10 questions is asked in every gp exam now what is important from pharmaceutical engineering so size reduction size separation drying evaporation distillation flow of fluid crystallization material construction evaporation dehumidification corrosion etc etc these are the important chapters okay so every year they used to ask either one question from this size reduction chapter size separation drying is very important okay then evaporation is important distillation flow of fluid okay in that case uh, theory part reynolds number and all the significance of reynolds numbers etc etc then manometers types of manometer that is important from distillation types of distillation are important what is what is meant by azeotropic distillation theory of distillation dalton's law is important okay in case of evaporation also dalton's law is important then uh, classification of evaporators classification of drying element drying equipment which one is a batch type of dryer which one is a continuous type of dryer on those kind of points they used to ask the question then theory of size reduction etc etc then different kind of mills there variant different kind of mills and product obtained so such kind of uh, questions they used to ask frequently okay 
then from crystallization also they have already asked a few questions in the GPAD. So theory of crystallization, mere theory of supersaturation, then type of crystal and its shape. So already they have asked in GPAD 21, crystals of sulfonamides, sulfacetamide. Then material construction is again very important chapter. So types of glass, type of glass in composition, then use etc etc. Then types of rubber, ingredient of rubber that has been already asked a lot of times, vulcanizing agent and all that. So that is again important, humidification, dehumidification is important. Okay, then uh, your corrosion chapter is also there. So just try to read the theory part, charts, tables given in this pharmaceutical engineering unit operations by CBS Subramanian. So that will cover your pharmaceutical engineering. Now, next subject from pharmaceutics part is nothing but the physical pharmacy. Again, this one is a very important subject and they used to ask around six to seven question from physical pharmacy okay uh, you can read this uh, physical pharmacy form physical pharmaceutics by cbs Subramanian book now what are the important chapters from physical pharmacy that uh, has a more advantage in the gpad exam so state of matter is important rheologies and rheology micrometrics is very very important these two chapters are very important already they ask a lot of questions from these chapters Thermodynamics is important, chemical kinetics is important, phase rule, collides, again these are little bit minor but they are also important. Then surface tension, interfacial phenomena is again a major chapter and that is important. Then uh, complexation phenomena that is also important chapter. Uh, then uh, these are the few chapters, okay. Uh, already from the rheology, type of flow, viscometers and all that, uh, they have already asked the question on such points. From micrometrics, so they have already asked the questions what are the different method okay surface area measurement method so, uh, size measurement particle size measurement methods so they have already anderson pipette method so they have already asked the lot of questions from micrometrics then thermodynamics is again very important law of thermodynamics different law of thermodynamics chemical kinetics again is very important chapter and from that what is first order second order and third order mixed order etc what is half life what is self life so those kind of problems they used to ask then phase rule, from phase rule what is two component system, three component system, what is a triple point of water, etc, etc, what is a penal, uh, uh, etc, etc. Then collide chapter is again very important, real view theory from this collide chapter is very, very important. Okay, so the suspension from your industrial pharmacy is totally depend on the this collide chapter. Again, sir, uh, the, your emulsion chapter from industrial pharmacy is dependent on surface tension and interfacial phenomena. The theory part of EZ, theory part of this chapter is important. And again, the HLB values, calculation of different HLB values, method for calculation, different HLB values, what is wetting agent, what is uh, detergent, what is solubilizing agent, etc, etc. So they used to ask question on this. Then complexation phenomenon is very, again, important. So how uh, types of complex formation, that is important, okay. Now they can ask around five to six questions from this physical pharmacy. Now we'll see the next chapter, uh, next topic or next uh, subject. We will see the next subject from industrial uh, from the pharmaceutics part. So next subject is nothing but the dispensing pharmacy. Here you can expect few questions. It is a minor one and you can accept, ex expect only few questions. So you can cover this uh, dispensing pharmacy by reading this dispensing for pharmaceutical student by Cooper and Gunn either or by RM Mehta. So what are the important points that can be asked in from this uh, subject? So posology is important different uh, formulae for child dose calculation that you have to remember then they can ask the problem on that okay then different method for alcohol dilution alcohol dilution method calculation allegation method and uh, like what that they used to ask question on this then metric system is important they can ask you one teaspoon full concern uh, how many number of ml one tumbler full contained number of ml etc etc okay one ounce is good how many grains etc so that uh, is important then again incompatibilities that is again very important physical chemical therapeutic incompatibilities the examples of that incompatibilities are very important you have to remember then definition of different dosage form traditional dosage forms are very important then latin terms you have to remember so those are the different different chapters that can be asked from dispensing okay you can expect around two to three questions from dispensing part of your sutics. Now we'll see the next part uh, or next subject from sutics part that is nothing but the biopharmacies. Again this is applied one and it is very important subject okay. From this kinetics and dynamics both 
part are important so in from that absorption is important already they ask around five to six times the question on absorption distribution is important different type of plasma protein binding plasma proteins and their binding binding interaction distribution interaction metabolism is again important inducer inhibitors that uh, type of problems they are leaders excretion kinetics is important okay so first order zero order elimination etc then uh, in vitro in vivo correlation that, that is important bioavailability and bioavailability bioequivalence studies is again important and one more point is important that is compartmental modeling that is so these are the different chapters or different points important from biopharmaceutics now you can cover this biopharmaceutics by just reading one book that is known as biopharmaceutics and kinetics by brahmankar so that book is enough and uh, you just try to read, read all the charts and tables that is also uh, that will also help you to revise quickly so these chapters you have to read these are the important chapters from biopharmaceutics now we will see the second section that is the chemistry section from g pad paper now from uh, sorry the second section is the pharmacology section from pharmacology what is important so again pharmacology is a applied subject okay so everything is important from pharmacology you cannot skip any point okay so everything is important from pharmacology so particularly general pharmacology is very important they have already asked a lot of questions from general pharmacology every year so what do you mean by what do you mean by different types of clinical trials clinical trials okay there is one chart in every book you will find it there so that chart is important then uh, root of administration is important or definitions like pharmacology pharmacokinetics dynamics then uh, pharmacogenetics pharmacoeconomic economics then uh, orphan drug is important essential drug list such kind of definition are important types of adverse drug reaction types of receptors okay types of adverse drug reaction type of receptor tolerance okay tolerance etc etc so general pharmacology is very very important part okay again drug acting on cns in drug acting on cns also you have at least five to six chapter like uh, general anesthetic side hypnotic anti convulsion anti psychotics then uh, anti depressants local anesthetics so these chapters from each and every chapter classification is important okay first you have to do classification by heart classification is very very important then mechanism of action mechanism of action is important okay then specific adverse effect of drugs that is very important drug of choice is important specific uses use is important okay so these points you have to read from each and every chapter so drug acting on cns you have at least 6 7 chapter in this uh, in this uh, in this section like uh, drug acting on cns from that also sympathomimetic drugs sympathomimetic drugs parasympathomimetic parasympathomimetic okay so there are four chapters in this then uh, drug acting on cardiovascular system you have at least five chapters in this like a uh, anti arrhythmic drug okay then uh, anti arrhythmic drug then anti hypertensive drugs anti anginal drugs uh, then uh, your treatment of congestive cardiac failure is there then uh, again diuretics is there so it is again a bunch of uh, five chapters drug acting on ans which is again very important okay you have to read same classification mechanism specific adverse effect okay specific adverse effect and then specific uses contraindication etc etc then again analgesic antipyretic narcotic analgesics are very important then autocoids antihistaminic drugs are important sir so anti serotonin drug is important hormonal drugs also is important anti anti antibacterial drug and antiviral drug anti cancer drug also comes under that only so that is another major section and that is very very important okay so you cannot skip anything from pharmacology everything is important from pharmacology now pharmacology they are going to ask you around 28 question from pharmacology 28 questions will be there from pharmacology and you have to read pharmacology from either medical pharmacology by kd tripathi or you can read pharmacology and pharmacotherapeutics by satyashkar bandarkar and if you want to revise the pharmacology in very short period then uh, review pharmacology by sparsh gupta that is again a uh, good one now we'll see another subject that is anatomy physiology every year you can expect around four to five question from anatomy physiology and you can easily cover up this 20 25 marks okay so what is important from anatomy physiology so this 
these chapters like blood every year they used to ask the question on blood blood chapter is very important so in that also types of uh, uh, different different blood cells their uh, lifespan and all that so i am not going to i am not going to mention here each and every point then from cardiovascular system is also important respiratory system is important skeletal system every year they used to ask one or two question from this skeletal system not only in gpat nipper also government pharmacist also drug inspector also so these systems are very important nervous system digestive system excretory system endocrine system and reproductive system these are the chapter to be focused on for anatomology you can expect around four to five mcqs from pharmacology uh, sorry from anatomology and this is the book you have to read anatomy physiology by ross and wilson that is the standard book and that will cover your this anatomy physiology now we'll see the next so what is important from biochemistry so again this subject is very very important okay so uh, many times i used to tell the students pharmacology is based upon anatomy physiology biochemistry and microbiology so if you want to understand pharmacology well then you have to be clear regarding these three subjects again from this biochemistry they are going to ask you around four to five questions so what are important from this biochemistry biomolecules like carbohydrate protein lipids amino acids so these are the four chapter which are known as biomolecules so these chapters are very very important you have to do it by heart okay so every year they used to ask the question i'm not going to repeat which kind of question they used to ask so from carbohydrate itself they ask a lot of questions so what is uh, the taste different kind of taste how to differentiate between your reducing non reducing sugar okay so that bending test barcode test they have already asked then uh, uh, epimers anomers they have already asked the question on that okay then uh, uh, classification is very important again monosaccharide disaccharide homopolysaccharide heteropolysaccharide okay then bonding between disaccharide you know oxidation formation lot of lot of points are there which can be asked from carbohydrates then again proteins lipids amino acids these are the important along with their metabolism okay so metabolism of carbohydrate proteins lipids and amino acids so everything is important then uh, another chapter known as enzyme kinetics enzyme chapter is very 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 important enzyme chapter you have to do by heart okay so they have already asked question on this two three times then vitamins are very important then uh, nucleic acid this is like dna replication transcription translation that is important so they are going to ask you around four to five question from this biochemistry and you can cover your biochemistry by reading this book biochemistry by satya narayana okay that will cover your biochemistry now we'll see the next subject that is a microbiology and pathology so pathology is not much important you can skip it so just study microbiology and you can study this microbiology by just uh, reading this simple book from nearly percussion that is nothing but the microbiology by chandrakant kokras okay so what is important from microbiology types of bacteria types of virus classification of bacteria classification of virus what is gram positive gram negative difference between gram positive gram negative uske upar already questions they have already asked questions then life cycle of bacteria what is lag phase log phase exponential phase decline phase etc etc then staining technique okay staining techniques are very important measurement of colonies of bacteria okay then uh, types of microscope etc etc difference between gram positive gram negative sterilization chapter is very very important every year they used to ask different method for sterilization holding temperature okay then sterilization indicator chemical biological and uh, biological indicator chemical indicator etc etc then immunology is important types of immunity that they already asked the question then types of immunoglobins they are that is important microbial assay of antibiotic that is important then source of antibiotic that is important so pathology you can skip the pathology and if you want to read you can read the pathology of tuberculosis uh, hiv aids pathology of cardiovascular disorders that is, that is the that will cover your pathology now this is important they are going to ask you around four again four to five question from microbiology now we'll see the next uh, section of your gpat paper now next section of gpat paper is nothing but the chemistry and uh, they are going to ask you 38 question from chemistry as i have told you so you should remember from chemistry section 38 question sodic section 38 question from pharmacology section 28 question from cogna section uh, 11 question from other subject sorry cogna section 10 question and other subject 11 question 
from medicinal chemistry what is important so these are the points which are very important from medicinal chemistry like drug design and qsr parameter so first chapter from king medicinal chemistry book so that is very very important so drug design and qsr different qsr parameter what is electrophoric what is electronic what is lipophilic parameters parameters etc the theory it is given in that laws different laws then for every every uh, for every section drug acting on cns drug acting on ans uh, drug acting on cardiovascular system drug, antibiotics for all these sections common points i am going to tell you so first of all you have to classification which is very very important so chemical classification is different pharmacological classification is different so from chemistry you have to medicinal chemistry you have to do classification first then structural activity relationship of important lead molecules or pharmacophores what are the important pharmacophores or lead molecule suppose for example barbiturates benzodiazepines tricyclic antidepressants okay then uh, beta blocker alpha blocker uh, then uh, adrenergic drug cholinergic drug acetylcholine and its sar sar of antibiotics like penicillin cephalosporins tetracyclines and macrolides so sar of sar structural activity relationship of important pharmacophores then you have to remember the structure of drug they can ask you uh, the structure of drug or they will ask the question like identify the structure of given compound okay so that is important then again again synthesis of important drugs synthesis of first member of family so for example uh, if you say if you take example of barbiturate so who is the first member that is nothing but the phenobarbital so do the synthesis of phenobarbital so which is the first member of your benzodiazepine so that is nothing but the chlorodiazepoxide or another one is a diazepam so do the synthesis of chlorodiazepoxide and diazepam that is enough okay so these points are only important so there are there are not much things that can be asked in the gpat exam from medicinal chemistry so that's why they are asking more question from organic chemistry okay so you can expect around 5 to 6 question from medicinal chemistry again from this section another subject is their organic chemistry and this one is the most important you have to do organic chemistry by heart and those who those students uh, to whom organic chemistry is very easy they used to score good marks in the gpn exam okay so organic chemistry what is important topics first so first of all you have to read organic chemistry from this book organic chemistry by bal and bal okay that is enough you can also read the organic chemistry from morrison boyd you can also read the uh, uh, this organic chemistry from Clayton. you can also read the organic chemistry from op agrawal etc there are a lot of standard books okay but you have to read at least this book okay now what is important from organic chemistry so different reaction intermediate and their stability so what is carbon ion what is carbocation what is a free radical so their stability primary secondary tertiary so already they ask questions on this then again second point sn1 sn2 reaction e1 e2 reaction two three times they already asked the question on this sn1 sn2 e1 e2 e1 e2 reaction then again uh, next point is a uh, different reactions of aldehyde ketone alcohol aldehyde ketone alcohols carboxylic acid they already asked the question on this then rearrangement reaction are very important or name reaction are very important just do the starting products uh, starting reactants and end product product that means reactants and product just mug up the uh, the statement of reaction okay then uh, heterocyclic chemistry is again important they used to ask the question on this which one is basic which one is the most basic which or arrange the following heterocycle in the increasing order of basicity or decreasing order of acidity likewise then so you should be clear regarding this heterocyclic chemistry is very important they can ask you synthesis they can ask you identify following heterocycle or they can ask you the properties okay then stereochemistry is important different type of stereoisomers what is positional isomer what is functional isomer what is the enz nomenclature rns nomenclature points uh, the rules for rns nomenclature so they used to ask the question on this then conformation of cyclic xen and en butane bipenaldin atropoisomerism that is again important part again oxidation re oxidation reduction reactions aldol condensation reaction then physical chemistry is also important so they used to ask around 10 question from 10 to 12 question from organic chemistry so organic chemistry is very very important so you have to do it carefully then we will see the next subject that is nothing but the analysis pharmaceutical analysis so yeah actually this analysis is very big subject is very vast subject 
and uh, and i don't understand why they are not asking much question from organic chemistry though they are asking around four to five question every year in the gpet exam but there are a lot of things that can be asked from asked from analysis part so particularly volumetric analysis is important theory of each and every titration and titration curves are important okay already asked they already asked the question on last year on titration curve so indicator theory of indicator types of indicator indicator range that is important what is internal indicator what is external indicator okay oxidation reduction titration non aqueous titration uh, then uh, precipitation titration gravimetry x ray so all volumetric analysis theory part is important then from uh, spectroscopic technique uv ir mass nmr power for body techniques are very important so theory instrumentation part then again uh, uh, calculation of uh, lambda max calculation of lambda max wood wood fisher rule are important then different types of uh, functional group and their ir ranges that is important from nmr they will ask you question identify how many number of signals of nmr given is given by the following compound such kind of question they used to ask from nmr so instrumentation part principal theory and these kind of parts then from mass spectroscopy so instrumentation there is all, uh, again important then types of peak what is molecular ion peak what is uh, uh, glottal ion peak what is parent ion peak what is base peak what is rearrangement ion peak what is a isotopic peak so those kind of question they used to ask structural illustration is important then from chromatographic part uh, your tlc paper chromatography hplc then uh, hpdlc then gas gas chromatography that those points are important the theory part is important theory just read the theory behind the chromatography then the instrumentation instrumentation part of your modern chromatography technique that is important so they used to ask around 5 to 6 question from analysis now we'll see the next next portion or next uh, section is nothing but the pharmacognosy so they are going to ask you 10 question from pharmacognosy for 40 marks so what is important again lot of things that can be asked from pharmacognosy general pharmacognosy is very very important traditional system of medicine and history history of traditional formulation is important who method for standardization that is important standardization parameter different values and definitions again introduction specific test types synonyms biological source chemical constituents chemical constituent k uses are very very important microscopic characteristics so introduction and specific test for example classification of alkaloids what are alkaloid properties of alkaloids already they have asked a lot of times identification test for alkaloids mayes reagent wagner's reagent dragon drops reagent hager's reagent then sodium reagent test etc so there are each and everything is given in the book okay then again uh, types and identification test for glycoside tannins terpenoids volatile oils and all that okay all the chapters and from each and every drug biological source chemical constituent geographical source uh, microscopy uses and test that is important adulterants are also important so those points are important from pharmacognosy and from uh, herbal drug technology enzyme immobilization then schedule t that is important you can read pharmacognosy by gokhale kovade or you can read herbal drug technology by agrawa and mahesh now we will see the next that is nothing but the jurisprudence which is a minor one so all the acts are important the theory acts uh, uh, the objective of act then uh, the definitions covered under the act is very very important again okay then penalty are very very important penalty definitions acts okay okay pharmacy acts a member of council state council central council dtab members all that are important some historical milestones are also used to us your drug and cosmetic act is very important different kind of schedules different kind of forms duties of drug inspector appointment of drug inspector appointment of government analyst duties of government analyst that they used to ask the question on that okay definitions of adulterated drug misbranded drugs spurious drug and cosmetics okay whatever definitions under narcotic drug and psychotropic act, that is also important penalty is important okay so each and everything medical termination of pregnancy act they already asked the question on this uh the maintenance of central register okay then uh, definitions under this act then the penalties so different acts penalties definitions are very very important they are going to ask you around four to five question from jurisprudence and you can read this jurisprudence from 
pronostical jurisprudence by N.K. Jain or Kuchekar or any other book. It doesn't matter. Monks that also uh, two more minor subjects are there. Hospital pharmacy and business management. So you can read pharmaceutical industrial management by R.M. Mehta. Actually it is very minor subject and they are going to ask around one or one or maximum two questions from this. So these are the points which are which can be asked different source of drug and source of drug information like medline and all that. Types of hospital, classification of hospital, uh, number of pharmacies required in the hospital. So that can be asked. Then again, uh, pharmaceutical management, channels of distribution. Okay, that is important. Then uh, sales promotion chapter is important. Window display and etc. etc. Then accounting is also important. These are the points that can be asked. Now we will see the next one. There is another minor subject known as a biotechnology. So you can expect around 3 to 4 questions from this biotech. So plant tissue culture is very very important. A different type of plant hormones you have to buy at. What is axine, oxine, what is cytokinin, what is gibberlin, what is ethylene. So types of tissue culture is important. Then uh, what is meant by ovary culture, what is meant by anther culture, what is meant by meristem culture etc etc. So plant diseases are important. Like what is ground wall disease, what is a hairy root disease. Then transgenic plant, transgenic animals are, are very important. Different kind of recombinant DNA technology vectors. What is meant by uh, RI plasmid, what is meant by, what is meant by uh, that uh, uh, different kind of factors. Yeast artificial vector, E. coli vectors, etc. etc. So PBR, what do you mean by PBR vector? Vectors and their specification, their characteristics are very important. Okay. Then PCR technique is important. The steps involved in the PCR technique, polymerase chain reaction, or that the enzyme required for the tag DNA polymerase, types of tag DNA polymerase. That is important. Application of recombinant DNA technology is again very important. So these are the points which are important from biotechnology. They are going to ask you around four to five questions from biotechnology for each and every exam. Okay. Now, if you are in the last year, so remember these are the three, these are the five sections of your GPAT paper: pharmacology, pharmaceutics, pharmacochemistry, pharmacology, cognition, and other. So out of that, pharmaceutics, pharmacology is very important and compulsory. And last three: chemistry, cognition, and other. You can skip any one of the last three, but my advice will be do or study all the subject. Okay, so that I have also written over there. Out of five, one, two all compulsory, and three, four, five, you have one choice. Do all the subject that will help you. And again, what are the different books recommended for GPAD? So fundamentals of GPAD, Nipadia Volume First. From this book, every year 50 to 60 questions that can be covered from this book only every year. Okay. Then MCQ book is also there, GPAD cracker actually. So think about this book. Strategy for last year students. So divide the whatever time is remaining. So you have to divide that time. And you have to give equally time for major ones. Major the other five section. Okay, whatever months or whatever days are remaining, divide into five. Okay. And distribute that day. And in the morning, I do read the theory part ideally in the early morning 5 to 8 am just rise early wash your head wash your uh, mouth with the cold water and then start studying okay read three hours daily daily two three hours study is very very important part gpad and that study should be consistent okay that is again one more thing okay consistency is very important hard work you have to do there is no other option hard work you have to do there is also no other option but that hard work should be consistently that is the most important okay so morning you have to read the theory part in, in the afternoon or in the evening whenever you have free time or you, you you will get bored so you have to solve the mcqs for each and every subject divide your uh, remaining time and uh, remaining uh, month or remaining days you have to divide because you have five sections divide your days and uh, start preparing okay and another important point you have to read charts tables summary definitions any law is there if any kind of value is mentioned over there so these things are very important you have to do it by heart charts table summary definitions law value is there okay so you have to read this from respective reference books okay and uh, if you don't want to read the reference book you can read my fundamentals of gpad naipa di pharmacist volume 1 if you want, you can order these books. 
from me. Numbers are displayed over the screen. Numbers will be also available on the description box. Thank you very much for uh, watching this. Hope you like this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon.